What's going on today, guys? We're back with Phil, PA Exotics, and you can't see in that tank. All you can see is my reflection. So what we're doing today is we're just gonna go over the uh, Europlatus sticker ray that I got, because I told you guys I believe in the unboxing that I would make an update video, um, and I haven't yet. Just because she's just one of those species that you really don't want to play with and handle, especially when young. I don't know if you can see her back there in the middle. Um, you really don't want to play with them, especially when they're young. They can drop their tail, which is definitely not good. Um, but in all reality, she just she come in and she didn't look the best, and I really didn't want to push it. She's getting better slowly. That tail's coming back around. She's getting weight on her, but she still doesn't look the best. I can still see like her spine and stuff. If you can see, I don't know if you can see. I could probably take her out. I have yet to have her out since. Um, well, since I got her, really. So, I'm gonna, this. I'm gonna put you guys right like that. And I'm gonna grab her. Okay. Oops. I completely messed the tank up. There you go. See how you can still see bones? You can still see that backbone, which does not impress me at all. But uh, the tail itself, <clears throat> when she come out, was not out at all. Like it was completely shriveled up in here. I've had it for probably 10 days now. Um, so yeah, she's getting better. Like I can see a little bit of meat now on the front legs. Those back legs still look really thin though. But I'm trying, I'm trying to give her dubia roaches. She doesn't seem to like dubia roaches. She'll eat small crickets, um, obviously dusted with calcium D3 but she won't eat like off tongs. So pretty much like dubias, super worms, stuff like that are out of the picture. She would pretty much just eat crickets right now. But still working with her. She is awful beautiful though. I just wanted to let you guys know that she is doing a little bit better than when I got her. Um, she is not 100% yet. I don't think she's hurting or in pain or anything but she's still recovering from being malnourished which can take a while and these guys to come back as far as i know like i said i've only had her like seven or ten days but probably take a while for her to get all that meat back but at least she's she's up she's moving around looking around i seen her walking the other night which is awesome if you guys have ever had like crested geckos um they kind of like they maybe pick themselves up occasionally and walk but they usually just drag their bodies Whereas these leaf tails will actually stand up and walk. It's the coolest thing ever. But like I said, I don't like to hold her too much. We're gonna bring her back. Hold on, little one. Cool. She's like, mm, I don't know, this hand's pretty warm. I don't know if I wanna leave it. <laughs> You're, you're kind of, this ain't going to work. you got one foot on the stick. There we go. There we go, pretty girl. Isn't she beautiful? Give her a quick spray down real quick. She's not like to be sprayed directly either, so. Sorry, I know you hate me. It's okay. My job sometimes is for you to hate me. But yep, she's doing good as far as I know. She looks like she's getting better. I've never owned one of these before. I am talking to a buddy that lives close that does own one of these. He's had her for a while. Um, so I'm not just going off of YouTube videos here on care. I am actually talking to someone who has had one for a while. And personally, I think she looks a lot better than when she did coming out of the box. I'd like to see a lot more improvement but let me know what you guys think. Any tips, I would love to know any help, especially to get her to eat like off of tongs. Like other than training, I know it takes a lot of training to get an animal like a skittish animal like this to eat off of tongs, but 
I mean, I don't know if there's anything I can do to entice her, whether I just let a whole bunch of Doobie Roaches go in a box and put her in it overnight, or... I don't know. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Hit me up in the comments. Thanks for watching. And we'll have a reptile room coming up pretty soon. I was kind of waiting for 100 subscribers to hit, so I'd have a good reason. But it's good enough reason that I haven't posted a reptile room tour in months. So we'll get around to it. Thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. And you will see me on the next one. Have a freaking good day.